This is my art project. It's a cactus dancing pot. And I'm going to show you how it works and then I'll, we'll come back here and show you what I did to make it work. Okay, so this is my prototype for the pot. And basically it's, it ended up being very similar to this uh, with two servos on the bottom, three servos in the head, uh, all connected to an Arduino. And also it had a, a six volt uh, step down transformer board that took the 12 volts and made it six volts directly to the servos. Okay, so continuing on, this is the actual movement that it would make, uh, though very, very rough because, again, this is just the prototype. Shows the two servos. Bottom one lifts it and rocks the hips. Uh, there's three servos in the head, and the three servos in the head, two of them operate the eyebrows, and one of them is the neck. So, basic operation. So the prototype led me to this 3D printed part. Basically, I designed it in Tinkercad and uh, printed it on my printer. Uh, it made up the body of the uh, whole robot, uh, a place to hold the two servos, a place for the next servo to connect. Uh, and then ultimately that connected to the books, uh, which were hollowed out prior to doing all of that. Um, and then the neck is attached to the, to the actual pot. The top of the um, pot there has the sensor attached. Uh, you can see the handle that's split for the eyebrows and the eyes just peeking out from underneath that. Um, in the back of the, the actual project, there is a switch uh, that turns it on. And uh, if I open this up, you can see the electronics. Everything's now stuffed inside of the uh, hollowed out books uh, with a 12 volt battery. Hopefully that explained everything that's going on with this project and uh, what's happening here with the whole plant and pot. Uh, ultimately, I wanted to experiment with Arduino uh, doing an animation sequence with servos and triggering it with, with a sensor. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching.